What's up guys, Asian here again with another theory crafting video, and today we're going to be taking a look at flanking in ESO. So flanking is a mechanic that is sometimes used, you typically see it being used more often in single player strategy games, although I have seen flanking being used as a possible mechanic in multiplayer games as well. Uh, not as common in MMOs, but it's still a mechanic that is used in a few MMOs, uh, none that I have played, but I have definitely seen flanking being used uh, not necessarily as a mechanic, but potentially as a way uh, to deal with mostly in PvP, you know, flanking an enemy, uh, flanking a Zerg group, etc, etc. Um, ESO also has flanking as a mechanic, but it is mainly reserved uh, in PvE at the very least for a couple of sets and a single ability. Um, and so what we're going to be answering today is what actually counts as flanking. We'll be taking a use uh, of one of the abilities that makes use of the flanking mechanic. And we're going to be using our target dummy behind me here along with the brooms uh, to kind of figure out exactly where flanking begins. So in most strategy games, flanking refers to a certain area either behind the enemy or to the side of the enemy. And so what we want to define here are the actual dimensions of the enemy's flank. So the most common way you're going to see flanking being brought up in a PvE setting is going to be through the use of Camouflaged Hunter. This is a morph of the Expert Hunter ability uh, under the Fighter's Guild line. This is the third ability down. So you gain mana Berserk for 5 seconds after you do critical damage from an enemy's flank. So the question is, of course, what counts as an enemy's flank? Camouflage Hunter is used very often uh, in instances where you're not going to be able to get Comet Prayer from a healer. A uh, very common use case would be for Navintas Hard Mode. Uh, the downstairs portal group will typically be using Camouflage Hunter, regardless of whether you're a magic DPS or stamina DPS. The reason for that is the DPS check for the portal group on Navintas Hard Mode is actually fairly high. So you want to get as much DPS as you possibly can. So that's why you want to use Camouflage Hunter in order to get Mana Berserk if you don't already have a source of Mana Berserk. For example, if you're a Warden, you might be able to use Bird of Prey in order to get Mana Berserk rather than run Camouflage Hunter. But of course, that also depends on being able to flank the enemy downstairs. So what we have here is a target dummy, and I have these brooms lined up currently at the 180 and the 90 degree marks uh, from the dummy itself. What I used was I used uh, essential housing tools to basically more or less line things up. So I line things up based on the blue lines that you see uh, in front of you right now. So basically what I did was I basically went to a top down view and more or less line them up like so. So the blue lines are always going to be in the exact orientation that you see here. So it'll always be facing uh, on that line here. So if I go ahead and plop this down uh, right here, for example, the blue lines for the broom will always be facing the same way. So my 180 degree would be on this line right here that I'm looking at. So if we go ahead and just move this back a little bit, this is 180 degrees directly behind the target dummy. And if we do the same thing with these brooms here, again, the lines are always going to be in the exact same orientation. So more or less, we just line this up with the horizontal. So one here, for example. And again, I'm drawing, going as high as a high, basically bird eyes view as I can in order to keep things consistent here. Because as you can see, if I change my uh, view while I'm moving things, that does change it because we are changing the location of the object while we do so. And again, we just want to line up the blue line with the grid line here. So this would be, for example, again, the 90 degrees and 180 degrees directly behind the target dummy. You can see here on the right-hand side of the screen, I do have my minor buffs up, so you can see minor slayers up. And so when we see the minor berserk pop up, that should be an indication that we are getting the camouflaged hunter. Uh, buff and that's considered the enemy's flank and then we'll be able to move the broom to that location and then we'll be able to use essential housing tools uh, let's see here we'll be able to use the yaw up there in the upper right hand corner the yaw is basically uh, the degrees that we're turning it so if I go ahead and turn my target dummy you can see that the yaw is changing here as you can see up there with the numbers so we just basically take the difference of the two numbers based on where I'm standing 
and we'll be able to get a good idea of just how much of a uh, of, of the circle, I should say, around the dummy counts as flank. So let's go ahead and cancel that turning. And go ahead and start hitting the dummy. So it'll only prop off of critical damage. So you can see here that we're not getting the minor berserk. So now let's go ahead and start walking over a little bit. So let's actually start at the 90 degree angle here. So this is directly 90 degrees and you can see we're getting the minor berserk. You saw it uh, pop up here. So now let's go ahead and shift over a little bit to this side. Looks like we're still getting the minor berserk, so I'm actually going to let things uh, run around. Okay, so we're still getting the minor berserk here, as you can see. So if we go ahead and shift even further this way, we are still getting the minor berserk, and we're not hitting the target dummy over there. See the trout dummies over there, so we're... all right, we're still getting the minor berserk. And you can see it's not relic when this proccing it. It's a crit damage, obviously, so it's our large attack of critting. Go ahead and move even further here. At this point, we're not seeing my berserk pop up at all. Let's go ahead and shift a little bit over this way. And we're getting minor berserk. So it seems like right around here. Let's see if we can get minor berserk to prop again. No. So it seems like right around here. Here is where an enemy's flank is defined uh, by camouflaged hunter. So let's go ahead and move our broom here directly on top of where I'm at. So you can see here we want it to be right where I was standing, so right around here. And so let's just double check on this side here. We get the minor berserk, and if we shift a little bit more this way. So again, the minor berserk, shifting a little bit more this way. All right, so at this point, we're not getting that minor berserk. So if we go ahead and get out of combat here and place the other broom over. So in theory, they should be symmetrical, so I should get the exact same numbers, same values, if I go ahead and take a look at the yaw value for the target dummy. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to stand where the broom is exactly on top of the broom, and we're going to go ahead and rotate our target dummy so we can get a yaw value. So right now my yaw is at, uh, one second here, so right now our yaw is at 192. So if we go ahead and rotate it until it's facing me, and there we go, it's 192 to 147. So if you go ahead and do that math there, uh, that would end up being a 45 degree angle. And just to make sure, we're going to rotate it the other way until that purple line is lined up with that broom there. Again, we're at 192, so if it's at 45, we should be sitting at about 237 or so. Alright, let me see. Uh, yeah, something like that. Okay, so it does look like we're at about a 45 degree angle uh, out. So this actually does look pretty much like a 45 degree angle. Uh, based on just eyeing it up right here. Uh, so probably there's probably a little bit of leeway here and there, but I'd say anywhere between 45 to 50 degrees out. Uh, if you think of it like a triangle, for example, uh, that angle of, a, of where you're standing is probably going to be considered flanking uh, when you're looking at the behind. Now, when it comes to flanking from the front, now because there is a set Dragon Guard Elite that does say uh, when you're taking from the front or the sides, it's a very good possibility, knowing how Zoss codes the game, that this entire uh, thing is just inverted. Uh, so if you're doing Dragon Guard Elite, just flip it around, basically turn the dummy 180 degrees, and that area right here would be the dead zone, so to speak. You wouldn't get Dragon Guard Elite there. Um, so that pretty much seems to be what flanking is. So it looks like it's about a 90 degree section of a circle around the dummy. It's about 45 to 50 degrees on either side of the dummy. If you take a look at where the dummy is standing and looking straight ahead as your zero degree, uh, about 45 degrees out from that line seems to be about where the flanking begins, about 45 to 50 degrees. So again, it's about a 50, 90 degree slice of a circle if you are uh, using kind of like a circle around the dummy.
Hopefully that clears up flanking for everybody. I found this personally to be a pretty uh, interesting endeavor to kind of figure out exactly what flanking is. Let me know down in the comment section below if you guys want to know any more sort of mechanics or anything else that you would like to know more about in ESO. Hopefully you guys found this video informative and I'll see you guys in the next dungeon.